the scene, a little herb patch area in my mum's garden, the pest, two spotted mite, also called spider mite. Now spider mite is called such because it looks a little bit like a spider when it runs around, like a tiny red spider, but also because of all this webbing you can see. And that's part of the pest. The pest is actually on the underside of the leaves and it's what's caused these lovely green leaves, or that one's not even quite green enough, of this self-seeded fern to become completely blanched out. And that, that along with the little black bits of poo every now and then from the um, two-spotted mite, is how you can identify it. So the way to treat it is organically is to remove the badly affected parts. So you're taking away all those two-spotted mite before you get to treat it with an eco oil product that is much more environmentally friendly than other white oils. White oils often, the more conventional white oils are often also damaging to fern leaves or delicate foliage. So the eco oil is much safer, but still do follow the instructions on the bottle. So I'm simply removing the affected foliage and the same with this Margarine that has become really badly affected. Sorry, oregano. Easy to get them muddled up, they're related to each other. So I'm giving it a good cut back, which you can do after it's flowered anyway. Traditionally, it was harvested with the flowers on it. So it's ready for a good cut back. And then it regrows with some lovely fresh foliage after that. This one needs dividing very badly. It's come to the end of its growing area in this pot. But removing the foliage again, is a great way of getting rid of the two spotted mite or reducing the numbers and then you can spray with some eco oil. If you're keeping the foliage on there, if it's not really badly affected, you can get a hose and with a really strong jet flush underneath the leaves and that can help to dry and drown the two spotted mite as well. This indoor plant that's having a bit of a rest outside has a few different issues. One is some scale if you can see that there, which won't be cured by flushing with water, but there could be a bit of two-spotted mite as well. So I'll just demonstrate the two-spotted mite um, flushing with water. So you simply go along like this. And if the leaves... and so on, work your way through the whole plant. And if the plant has very delicate leaves, you can help support it with your hand as you hose it so you're not pushing it away, so you're managing to actually flush the insects. This is Eco Oil, covered by the <laughs> label unfortunately. Uh, it's made by Organic Crop Protections and they have a range of organic, this one is certified organic, and this is the safest thing I know of to use for two spotted mite as a treatment. Of course, as with all organic sprays, they're a last resort. And so that's why I was showing you the water flushing because, and the removal of the leaves because every spray affects our beneficial insects as well. So this is just what we use when we don't have another way of getting rid of the pest.